Welcome back to Sports Extra. Joining me in studio tonight for our Blizzard Report, as always, head coach Corey Roverson. How you doing, man? I'm good, I'm good. Bruiser's looking big. See him right there? Yeah. This whole chroma wall thing's a little different, right? Right, right. Hopefully our team could get big like that. Maybe we do the weather after we're done with this. <laughs> that's where we do it, right here. All right, bye week. Coaching staff watches a lot of film, so that's what we are going to do tonight. The indoor game, shorter field, less players. You can go in forward motion prior to the snap, but the fundamentals are still the same. If you want to win, you got to block, tackle, and catch, right? Correct. Let's start with some game planning and your win over Nebraska. Take us through this one. Great defensive stop near the end of the ball game. It was a one score contest and your defense came up huge. What are we seeing from Nebraska and what did you try and accomplish? Uh, well, right now what we're seeing is a two by one formation. Um, two receivers to our right and two, uh, one receiver to the left. Um, and and uh, what we're trying, we're just, we, we're just running our zone coverage. Um, we're trying to bang the number one receiver up top here. Um, push them in, funnel them into our safety right now. And then, as you can see right below, we're trying to um, put, push number two receiver outside to our deep player, uh, which is at the bottom of the screen. Well, and you got these guys all down here and one guy by the quarterback. And here's how the play happened to run as they rolled down the field. You, this guy on top, he's looking for the post. You got things covered down below here for sure, way out here, I should say. And then you got a guy in the middle. What else is going to happen? Well, uh, earlier in the game, uh, they showed every time they sent this guy vertical, we wasn't really getting a hand on him, and he was sneaking back up, you know, towards the wall. Um, and our safety stayed in the middle a lot. So uh, what we, our adjustment was, we just going to run underneath them. We're going to push them in and run underneath them with our corner. Well, those two guys up top, way over here, had to make a, a decision for you, and here's how it played out in your favor. Big play to end the ball game, stepping underneath and great leaping interception. Yeah, that was a great play by Bakari. Um, he, he, I mean, it was textbook. You couldn't ask for anything better. He, uh, no, no one else showed in his own underneath. He just, you know, trailed, trailed the play and the ball came right to him. All right, on the flip side of those breakdowns are the ones that don't go your way, and it happens like this. What's Nebraska's formation? What are they trying to accomplish, and how did they do it? Um, they're in the three by zero formation, uh, three receivers to our left, as you can see, uh, the two high motion guys and the one receiver uh, stationary on the ball. Uh, what they're trying to do is high low as, as well. Um, they're trying to, they're doing a flood concept, um, trying to get get the routes over. Yeah, that's the thing. You got all these guys over here by you over overloading and flooding that side. And as this play happens, those motion guys have two distinct different routes. R right, yeah. You get one guy that's trying to pull the corner out. Um, you get one guy that's trying to pull the corner out right now over here, um, which in this play, in, the, in our defensive coverage, our linebacker was going to get underneath him, and our corner was supposed to be deep over the top uh, of this route. And unfortunately, it looks like the error is on the safety, but he's looking at a different spot, isn't he? Right, right. The safety was in a robber coverage this time, so he was robbing anything that was going to hitch up right here in the middle. Um, that was his responsibility where both corners were supposed to be deep. And as you can see, this results in a Nebraska touchdown and a broken play for the score. So those are things that you need to improve on as we move down the stretch run. Good things on offense, though. Sometimes it's easy to just, just to chuck it deep. In a condensed field, getting that 15-yard first down is sometimes more important. Break down this play information for us. Pretty basic. You got your three linemen, your two outside guys, are on the line of scrimmage and your two motion guys are on the inside back. Right, so we, we saw something in the first game. We, uh, we knew if we, we ran this formation, um, especially with the high motion and the boundary here, uh, that the corner would bail, the corner to, the, to this side, the outside def defensive back would bail and the safety would come down to try to jam, similar to what we did to them. Yep. Um, and, and what we wanted to do was get a curl around um, towards the middle. We looked left for the linebacker to shoot out, to open it up. And as a defense would look at this and see you coming at them as we roll it, it looks like the same routes on both sides of the football field, disguised very well, because at this point, you still don't know where anybody's going. Correct, correct. So um, in order for it to be real successful, we had to have a high player, right? So in this case, uh, B.J. Hill was running the post route. But you um, have to respect. Right, you have to respect the post, which that pulled this bottom corner out of the play. And as we can see, even though there's three guys down here covering one, basically you sit right down in the middle of the zone, great leaping catch, 15 yards, first down, Green Bay Blizzard. Right, right. So that was huge for us. Uh, I believe it was third down. 
um, on that drive, and you know that capitalized uh, with, with Footman running it in after that. Very good, very good. It's been fun. We're gonna have to do this more often. Yeah. <laughs> Head coach Corey Roberson of the Blizzard. Good luck. Good luck next Sunday. You're actually on the road, so go to YouTube and watch it. Right. 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 Live on YouTube. Live on YouTube in San Diego next Sunday night. All right. We'll have more of Sports Extra coming up after the break.